Hello and welcome to Tech Deals Cooler Masters Master Liquid 120 Light 120 millimeter liquid cooler, $49. This is a deal. I'm very excited to talk to you today about one of the best deals in CPU liquid cooling on the market today. This cooler will work in almost any case that has a mount for a 120 millimeter fan and with almost any CPU made for the past 10 years. Everything from the Core 2 line all the way through the latest Ryzen processors, the upcoming Intel Coffee Lake processors, and even Skylake X. Threadripper need not apply, but of course you wouldn't buy this for that anyway. At $49, this represents a wonderful value option for somebody building a mid-range system. A Ryzen 5 1600X, an Intel i5K processor overclockable. This is a good choice to give you extra cooling performance than either the stock cooler or the less expensive air coolers without spending $100 on your cooler. Now to be sure, if you really are building a top of the line machine and you want to overclock to the max, you really should get a 240 or 280 millimeter cooler, but those generally run about $100. At $49, this is half the price and still gets you into the liquid cooling market. In my opinion, the two perfect processors for this cooler are AMD's Ryzen 5 1600X or Intel's i5K processors. Both of those are mid-range chips used by a lot of people looking for good performance for the money. Either one of those would be excellent candidates for this to get you good overclocking performance at a reasonable price. If you are going to step up to a Ryzen 7 1700X or an i7K chip, I actually would recommend you spend the extra $50 on a 240 or 280 cooler. Those are higher end processors for higher end machines, but for the mid range, they're a little bit expensive to put on those chips. I would actually recommend something like this. If you are looking for superior cooling performance, but for whatever reason you don't want a liquid cooler, that's why the Hyper 612 is here. It has six heat pipes, 50% more than the Hyper 212, and if you want to step up to a mid-range cooling solution, that's what I would recommend. Now, the Hyper 212 has been around for a number of years. It's very popular, number one bestseller air cooler on Amazon for a reason. It has four heat pipes. Please note, it will not cool your CPU as well as this will because it is simply not as high rated as this is, but it is also less expensive. So if you are not planning to overclock, if you're still going to buy an X chip like a 1600X or an i5K chip, but for whatever reason you don't want to overclock, the Hyper 212 Evo actually will work just fine. But if you want to overclock, step up to either the 612 or the Master Liquid 120 Lite. One quick note about AM4 Ryzen compatibility. Neither one of these air coolers come with the adapter in the box to use on the AM4 platform for Ryzen. They work fine on Intel, they work fine on the older FX processors, but you do have to order a separate adapter kit. This is the one for the 612 here. Uh, it's $5 from Cooler Master, you get it right from them, but it's something else that you have to worry about. If you're building a Ryzen 5 1600X, let me point out, this comes with AM4 compatibility in the box. You don't have to worry about it, buy it for $49 and you're good to go. What about the Intel non-K chips, the i5-74, 75, and 7600? No, I wouldn't buy this. It's way overkill. Those chips cannot be overclocked. They don't produce that much heat. The Intel stock cooler actually does a really good job. However, if you are interested in an aftermarket cooler for reduced noise, then either the Hyper T2 or the Hyper 212 Evo would be excellent choices if you simply want lower noise and a nicer cooler than the Intel stock cooler, but you certainly don't need a liquid cooler for a locked processor. How about the AMD Ryzen 5 1600 or 1500X? Would I buy this? Honestly, no, I wouldn't. I would use the included Wraith Spire cooler that comes with those two processors. It has a copper block on the bottom. It is a 95 watt TDP cooler. It is a very nice option. And I really don't think such processors need an aftermarket cooling solution. If you want an aftermarket cooling solution, skip the 1500X, skip the 1600 and go straight to the 1600X. 4.0 gigahertz out of the box. It's a better bin processor. If you're gonna spend money on a cooler like this, go straight to the 1600X. How about the lower end processors such as the Ryzen 3s and Ryzen 5 1400? Absolutely not. Either use the included cooler or use the money to buy a faster processor. A Ryzen 5 1400 is about $50 less than a Ryzen 5 1600. Buy a Ryzen 5 1600 and use the included cooler. Spending any kind of money on an aftermarket cooler on a budget processor makes no sense at all. Just buy a better CPU. 
Okay, that's entirely enough talking. How about we open this up and show you what's inside the box? But before I do that, let me remind you that linked in the video description below will be links to Amazon and Newegg for everything that you see on the desk. I encourage you to compare prices. These things tend to go on sale quite often and the prices are usually not the same between Amazon and Newegg. Compare prices and buy it where it makes the most sense for you. And without further ado, let's open it up. One nice thing about this package is the fact that besides the fact that it comes with AM4 support in the box is the fact that it will install in almost any case. Not every case has room for a 240 or 280 millimeter liquid cooler. Most cases have room for a 120 because it's simply a 120 millimeter fan. As I open this up, you can see inside it's packed very nicely. I took the piece of foam off. We have got a single 120 millimeter fan right here. We have a do not eat uh, packet to keep the moisture out. I'll throw that down there. We have warranty information. It does come with a two year parts and labor warranty. And then we have the actual installation guide which contains information for both Intel and AMD with lots of pictures. I am going to be doing a video installing this cooler in that Cooler Master Masterbox Lite 5 case back there into that Biostar motherboard. It really is very straightforward. It'll mount in the back, it'll work as an exhaust. It's very easy to install. Now, when we take it out of here, you will notice, wow, that's nice. And it's not very heavy either, that's good. This is something I really like about Cooler Master liquid coolers. They do not pre-apply uh, thermal paste to the water block. Why is that important, you say? Wouldn't it be easier if they did? Well, in some respects it would be easier, but most liquid coolers from other brands come with it pre-applied and no additional paste. Once you put this down, it's used. If you ever have to remove it for any reason or upgrade your processor or change cases, you have to go out and buy additional thermal paste. Cooler Master provides thermal paste in the package. There's a tube of it in here with multiple applications. And what this means is that you can uh, install it remove it, reinstall it multiple times without having to buy any more thermal paste. Now thermal paste isn't very expensive, a couple of dollars, but it saves you the trouble and gives you the ability to remount this as needed. Note the size of the pump. This may be the light version, but it is not light when it comes to the pump. It's got very good cooling. Now there, that is a white LED on the top, and then you can see screen printed. This is not an LED up here. It's screen printed the Cooler Master logo on the actual radiator itself. Now these hoses are protected and sleeved and this is very nice because many inexpensive liquid coolers just come with rubber hoses with no protection. This actually has a mesh sleeve protecting you from having any wear or damage due to uh, cable rubbing or chafing inside the machine which is how you get leaks. Because it's protected you're less likely to have a problem with that. I have now laid out everything on the desk that comes with it. This is actually very simple and straightforward. In many respects, a much easier installation process than the 240 or 280 coolers. Why? Because instead of having multiple adapters and a SATA power connector and, and uh, Y connectors for all of the different fan connectors, here we simply have one plug. This is a simple three pin plug that plugs into your CPU fan connector on the motherboard. It runs the pump, no problem. The fan then has a fan connector which simply plugs into one of the fan headers in your motherboard. It's simply a 120 millimeter fan. It'll plug into any of them, no big deal. Now, this simply bolts to the radiator using the included screws. It, this really will only take you about 10 minutes to install. It comes with all of the various plates and connectors needed for AMD and Intel processors, both current and older, including the new Ryzen, as well as the upcoming Coffee Lake, which will work with this as well. I mentioned the tube of thermal paste. This is it right here. There are multiple applications, probably five, six or more applications are in here. So this will last you for a long, long time. I'm really actually very excited about this because they've broken the $50 price barrier. Up until now, you had 60 to $65 120 millimeter coolers. And then of course you had the $100 coolers. But at $49, this represents a value for the money. Superior performance to most of the air coolers on a budget. For a Ryzen 5 1600X or an Intel i5K chip, this would be my first go-to option. Thank you so much for watching my unboxing and overview of the Master Liquid 120 Lite. Like this video if you like it, share it with your friends if you loved it. Remember to subscribe to my channel with the big huge red button directly below. Questions and comments in the comment section. And as always, the links in the video description are where it's all at. Amazon and Newegg for everything shown on the desk. Patreon, Twitch, and Twitter links down there as well. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.